So my, my eldest auntie, my, uh, from my dad's side, the, the, the eldest sister, decided to take me in, in a family with the husband and their three children. And they told me, you know, from today we are your parents. These cousins of yours are now not just cousins, they are also your brothers and sisters. So don't feel like you, you, you are alone. In case you need anything, tell us. My grandparents were still there for me. My uncles and aunties were still there for me. You know, they would tell me anytime you feel you want to come and see us, our doors are open. And I thank God for the Meriti family because they've really, really been a source of support. And I cannot even thank them enough. I thank God for my auntie and uncle, you know, uh, who now became my parents, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Kobudi. They've been really, really, really a pillar, even now, until today. I, I have never felt like I have no place to call home. I mean, I, they are still there for me. They still support me. They are, their children are my brothers and sisters, you know, and, and I thank God. So after that, they took me in, you know, took me up to university. I finished Form 4, uh, got some good marks that would take me to university. So I went to Daystar University and uh, I, I studied a degree in psychology because I really wanted to understand, you know, what I went through, but also try to see whether I can help people uh, and, 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 and try to understand basically what, what uh, um, life is all about because psychology is a study of behavior and, and, you know, life and all that. So I really had many questions and doing psychology was one of the answers I was looking for. Yeah, so I... In my fourth year in campus, I lost my grandfather, now the paternal grandfather. And I had a, a very, very good relationship with him because he, he, when he lost my dad, he used to see me and he used to see his son. So to, to me, he was like a father and, and to him, I was like a son, though he's my grandfather. So we used to have this, you know, he tell me, you know, I believe in you. I know you'll become a great man. and. And uh, anything you need, my help, anytime you feel like you want to speak, come, come we talk. And we used to have really, really long chats when I go visit him. An hour or two, like we are just there talking, telling me about his childhood, about how he, he was able to achieve whatever he had in life because he was, he was one person I looked at as a, as a role model because of what he had achieved. So I, I, I would say that used to really encourage me. So when I lost him, it was another blow. For anyone around those who are grieving remember all they need is someone to walk with them without judging to those grieving it never gets easier you never get over but time teaches you to learn to live with the pain after all the tragedy of life is not death but what we let die inside of us while we live